Guys, 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 let's be honest here, okay? We are sweating too much with the descriptions, left and right, the geekism. So, uh, to kind of elevate the sweating, we decided to make something fun. A tier list. Just to warn everyone, right? I did not script this motherfucker. I don't have perfect placements. So, um, let's fucking hope this is actually gonna be acceptable. Now, today's game is gonna be about who can survive on a stranded island, whatever the f you want to call it island who is gonna thrive the best in such circumstances now we're not gonna say one person like i throw you on the desert on the island and you're supposed to survive you are on an island with a bunch of people let's say six seven of you are on the island or eight of you some things we will be taking into consideration is not just your ability to be a craftsman but your ability to inspire lead right be a leader uh, to be resourceful, to be practical, to be grounded, to be uh, charismatic, res resourceful, whatever the f*** it is that helps you, that those are the things we're looking at. We can live on an island, literally. They can turn it into a picnic. I would actually say it would be LS the f S -E. L S E. Um, now, obviously, I've watched Lost many years ago, but if uh, some of you remember, Jack was an LSC, like he was a Chadwick, one of the main survivors, actually probably one of the most competent ones. So with an LSC, you have someone who's TE base, very competent, how things work, uh, dictating action for himself and for other people. He knows how to manage it, he knows he, he could be easily the leader of the group and he could manage the group, tell people what to do skillfully, right, efficiently, demonstrative enough, right, he is grounded, he's concrete, he's sensorical, that's what helps him, okay? Now his SE demo, uh, you know, what the fuck is he gonna show on the island? His cock? Something, right? They can lead people, they can be resourceful, they can be practical, they have all the traits. They have all the traits to survive. Second, I, I would be, I would surprise you guys, I would say SLE. Now the Big Daddy Dom SLE, I think is one of the most OP types in this situation. They have all of the traits. And even more than the LSC when it comes to st stuff like, uh, you know, okay, I don't want to say more. I feel like their impulsivity, they're going to be more impulsive. They're not going to listen to people as well. So it's going to be a bit more problematic than the LSC, which is probably why I picked the LSC number one. But for the SLE, you have someone who can be violent if necessary. He will throw hands. If someone, because listen, on the group, when you're on a an island and you have multiple people trying to survive, violence, it will happen. Okay, I'm not saying people will f die, but there will be something. There will be something popping off. Okay, and in the Lost show, it has happened many times. So, of course, po she will pop off. And Ashley will, right, bitch slap motherfuckers, left and right. It will happen. So, you, he has the willingness for violence. The issue here is that hopefully he's not going to act too selfish to get, you know, to survive, be Mr. Survivalist and f everyone over. Hopefully. I think LSIs are uh, very good when it comes to sensorical world. They're very organized. They're very sensorical. Uh, when it comes, I, I could see those motherfuckers build a shed and be like, okay, this piece doesn't fit with this piece, or maybe that's just an LSI. SLI. But in general, I think if if we have an LSC as a leader, an LSI is one of the sidekicks. It's easy. It's it's a W because the LSI can obey orders very well. After that, I'm thinking SLI. You know, they're losing the charisma, they got the autistic riz. But I'm talking more about the level of pragmatism. This is the motherfucker who goes to the, like, they go to the forest just, just for camping. Like, it's shitty conditions, right? Snow, people died, don't give a f I'm gonna go chill. I'm gonna go chill out. I would say ILE. They also have TE demonstrative, so they're very action-oriented, they're very movement-oriented. They know how to deal with shit. Guys, don't sleep on ILEs. This is... They're, you know, they can be inventors, they can be innovators, but they, that doesn't mean that they have to be geeks in that way. They are able to find original solutions to situations. So I think an ILE can be quite useful, as long as we get over the geekism shit, you know? After that, I feel like an LIE. Uh, I don't know what the f*** an LIE would be good for. Like, I have an ILE already. Like, I guess the TE base and, uh, and, I, cre and I creative. I, guys, I don't know what the f***. Then, I would put SE. The reason why they're even so f***. In high up on the list is only due to the fact that the SE base and FE demonstrative is OP in a group. Now, solo, I would say they're f dead. Has the charisma SE, has the 4D FE, has the FI creative, right? 
And when it comes to group and survival, you all need to understand how that shit plays off. You need to know how to impact people's feelings, impact people's moods, impacts, impact people's personal attitudes, right? Maybe turn some people against each other. You need to know how the fuck to do that, right? Maybe intimidate some people. Maybe use force on some people. Maybe inspire and mobilize people into a certain objective because you might not be the best at something, but you are the first one to take initiative. Maybe you're the first one to be like, you know, what the we don't know what we're doing, but we need to go. Let's do it. You're putting yourself in a position of a leader. So, I see it has a lot of potential to survive because of those qualities. Team mobilizing is kind of a nerf here, and it is a big nerf. So the SE has to rely on the fact that they're very, you know, they're going to be very sensorical type, very grounded. So when a Mr. Big that you don't LSE tells the SE, you just do it like this, the SE can easily follow. The SE is TE mobilizing. Now with, with, with can survive, I put E aside. And people will disagree with me. I know some people will. We are using too much logic. Let's break it away. Let's, let's abandon reason for a second here. And think about this way. ESI, what the f*** is ESI in most movies? The survivor. That's for a reason. Right? What is in ESI in situation? ESI is a hero. ESI is the heroine of the story. So the reality is, even if ESI should not excel, being the SP4 Sigma male David Goggins that they are, which by the way is a shit example of the type, they should have the plot armor to survive. So f it, I'm putting it ESI as can survive. Many because plot armor, you know. Then I would say uh, LII. Some people would say, well, I think LII should be higher than ESI. I mean, ask yourself this. Who the f*** do you think would survive on an island better? An ISFP or like an INTP? Right? Like if we're thinking that way. They still have benefit. Right? That I feel like the TI base is not going to help us as, as much. We already have an LSI. The NE creative, that is the good shit. And the NI demo, that's good shit. We have the NI, we have the NE. That's helpful. They lack the assertiveness. They lack the leadership. They lack the charisma. They lack the social skills. They are already nerfed in most of those areas. They even lack a lot of the pragmatic, action-oriented situations. How to fix shit and how to be good at fixing certain shit. What to do and how to tell people what to do. They're kind of nerfed. But I still see potential in them because of the geekism and the maybe ability to come up with, with different ideas to solving different issues. I, you could see that. But once again, I feel like IELE bodies the LII here. Maybe IE. Like, I don't know what the f*** to do with IE here. I feel like, okay, right, TI Polar. So that's kind of shit. But FI Creative and any base. So this is very overpowered combination. I think an ESC, if done correctly, can inspire people. And ESC can get in people's good graces. And not only, they're very materialistic people. They're very grounded and very concrete, sensorical people. TE role is a very powerful tool. Our role is very stubborn. We dictate in that area and we don't want to be dictated. So I could see an ESC swinging his dick. High physics, high physics, NPY. That saves them quite a bit. Maybe EIE. I'm thinking because it's fair, right? We have the ESC, we have the EIE. I think, again, EIE after because what what do we know about EIE? NI Ego. Okay, NI Ego. What position can an EIE do well? They could definitely be the leader and they could inspire people. But that's generally where it ends, right? Uh, as a vulnerable, NI Ego, any demo, they can give some ideas, but we already have that in that group. A TE role can be very good, ESC does the same thing. But the biggest issue with the EIE, unlike the ESC, is the lack of the concreteness, the lack of the groundedness that I think could back from them uh, compared to the ESC, which, which thrives in that shit. Although this can change, because I could, I, I could imagine maybe an EIE manipulating everyone in the whole group, right? big cult leadership and then, and then surviving. Because uh, yes, TE creative, they can be very useful. Maybe we f***ed up and I should have put them even before IEE. Maybe I'm overestimating all the ethical types here. That might be the case, guys. My duel, please don't be angry at me. I know you probably see this like list and you're thinking, wow, I betrayed you. I f***ed you over. Because, you know, I think so low of you that even a fucking ESC, IE and EIE are doing better than you in survival skills. No, 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 my friend, don't think that. I appreciate your geekism. I love it, in fact. I see suggestive. You guys are stagnant and i base your te creative i could see do some very your te creative could be very useful 
it could be extremely useful but we want practical people we want sensing types right generally speaking we want sensing types obviously you're fucking dead uh you're fucking dead and you're dead like all of you three are decapitated on sight before i before i stab you in your feelings before i push the knife right deeper and deeper into your wound i will compliment you to soothe it the pain afterwards so you are amazing you guys are pretty much like pretty much useless on, a, on, on an island you should be useless there's no skills that an ai offers to the group right that the other types can do absolute fa they will die they will die and uh, very subjective but tell me yours what what how would you rate the ability to survive and thrive in such situations remember in a group in sociotypes anyway guys so that's it for today i'm out i'm hyped and i'm bouncing